Welcome back to Wit Acres. Well, I got 113 plants in the ground the other day. to open up here this is a Dutura very nice color to it and the glorious Empress is starting to butt out all the way to the tips so we'll come over here to the perennial bed the scotch broom is starting to bloom which is very pretty that color I am loving this columbine there's a beautiful shade from blue to pink with every color of purple in between look how blue that is that is a true blue right there oh we got babies yeah see all the baby robins in there Hopefully those wrens don't get them. I can hear the mama robin up in the red maple there yelling at me. I'm gonna get out of there. Don't you step on my potatoes, go around. Go around. Come on, you don't need to be hunting in my potatoes. All right, you do you. We got the blood good Japanese maple planted in here. In here along the path, I moved my pomegranate yarrow to this side of the path instead of this side because I put, this one gets a little bit more shade on this side. So I put a candy corn spirea there and then I put the pomegranate yarrow on this side to get a lot more sun. Over here you can see the Globemaster aliums are blooming beautifully. They are fully open now, probably starting to drop seed. But I'm gonna let them go. If they spread, they spread. I'm okay with that. This is the square foot garden. I plan it, planned this out with you guys and planted it with you. And now you get to see the progress on how it's going. Squash mound laid out with water jugs. I have 33 planting spots down this mound for squash and pumpkins and whatnot. Here's my perennial bed here with the empress. You can see I pruned my empress back and it is trying to put out some new shoots like it's supposed to haven't decided whether or not I want to keep it as this trunk or maybe I'll just cut the whole thing down and try again with a new shoot we put behind the barn you can see it is leafing out beautifully it is so nice to throw in a big tree and just have the instant impact of the tree there instead of waiting for it to grow. I think it's awesome. Oh, puppy dropped a piece of mud in the water. What'd you do, puppy? I'll be doing a lot here, so I wanna keep taking logs of the different plants that I'm putting in so I don't forget what I planted 
and then next year I'll be able to design a better garden. That's all for this tour. If you want to see me and Echo on the next one, go ahead and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new weekly update. Alright, thanks for watching.